using this from the cutter's guide, the knickerbockers pattern, and the instructions of, uh, which are on the page above. I go to pattern. Let's fold it over there. And I took some wool from my stash. One is an old kilt, and the other uh, was a skirt. I'm just using those um, to put together the mock-up. As I need to see how it goes, because the top part I had a little trouble with the drafting instructions. I couldn't figure out what they meant to do with all these tape measure diagrams and stuff. I couldn't find a, like a sort of a, a reference point to where I should be. Maybe it was from this line up a certain number of inches, then across, and then... But that's like a 45 degree angle or something. I guess it was across to there. But then you have this across here, and then up here somehow. And I just didn't know how they got from one point to the other to the other. Um, and the only instruction they provided was... Um, measure up waist... To measure plus two and a half inches. Measure up seat to measure plus two inches and complete draft by squaring across from the seat seam to top of side seam coming in two inches and up one and a half. But I was having difficulty figuring how they n navigated that. So what I did was I just, I had the bottom part of the pattern drafted. So I just kind of drew the top part on proportionally and eyeballed it. And so I'm going to make a mock-up. Um, to make sure and see if it might need some adjusting. I am doing a mock-up and I'm just using uh, some wool from my stash. This was a um, thrifted skirt, the gray, the charcoal, and the tartan was a um, kilt I got for free on one of the big give days. I managed to get three pieces out of the, the kilt, took the pleats out, and cleaned up all the loose threads, and finally got it cut out at about 2 a.m. And so now I'm just going to put this together. Uh, I was sewing the seam with the, the seat seam, I think it is, with the uh, flat felled seam and see how it goes. Still might end up being a wearable mock-up. I saw a groundhog over at the barn today, which is a very nice sign of spring. I was looking out the kitchen window and I saw something over there, kind of a mound of something. And I thought, it might be a groundhog, but then since the raccoons are over there, I thought it maybe it was a little one. But then it sort of seemed to disappear. Camouflage. The top end and the bottom end, the tail and the top of the head are very dark brown. And so when it turned a certain way, it seemed to disappear into the ground. And I thought, is there a hole over there? I didn't recall a hole. And then it reappeared. So I was like, oh, that's a very good and magical camouflage. Very interesting. So I, I, because I'm so nearsighted, it's hard for me to see. I need to make that appointment with an optometrist, but with the way COVID is these days, I don't know when would be a good time to do that. But I grabbed my camera and uh, used the zoom and snapped a photo in. So that's a lovely sign of spring. Whether we'll have any bulbs coming up over there or not, I don't know. Someone's been rooting over there, and uh, maybe the, well, a skunk would be likely, but possibly the raccoons also, so. Uh, I don't know what they're eating other than garbage and maybe bugs. And I did some reading on raccoons a while back, and, uh, and rodents and such, and but in terms of trying to remember what the raccoons they eat during the winter, though I know what I mean they hibernate, generally, but they do come out sometimes, and uh, right about now I'm not sure what they've got around here to eat, other than garbage. Uh, I'm 
don't see them getting into that, so that's that's good. Hmm. We'll have to look at it again. Funny how much you forget from from reading even. I mean I read a book of I mean I was reading a book about them not too long ago. Well I guess it was almost ten years ago, so that's the things that you retain in your memory and then the things that fall out. <laughs> Goodness. I'm golden. Someone did the door again. That sounds like maybe Honey a Hawker. We have to wait and see. Could be cool. Hello, Honey. Come on. Oh, come we fall. Come on. Oh, you both here. Come on, girls. Come on in. Coming in. Come on. Hurry now. I'm not sure what they do for a fly. I guess we'll have to check the notes later. Let's see, but this might go together fairly quickly. I'll check the details. I didn't uh, draft the leg bands yet. It was just a strip of material where there was no buttons. I'll always check the details. I'm just more, more concerned about fit. Um, but this will be one to see. And then deal with the details. Oh, careful. You get yourself lassoed there, Farnish. <laughs> 